we are a little over two months into our weight loss journey with Vanderbilt Weight Loss Clinic. And I, I actually started a little before that, so I'm almost at three months into my weight loss journey. So in almost three months, I have lost 24 pounds. In just a little over two months, my husband has lost 34 pounds. 34 pounds. We're not upset about that. We're excited for him. <laughs> I am excited for him. Um, I need like a thing to hold this. But anyway, it's been great. Um, I still really love the program. I still love, you know, that they say to incorporate the changes slowly, you know, the eating healthy. Um, I'm still working out four days a week. I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out how to add a fifth day in. The workout, I started actually working out four times a week in January. And um, so I think I've talked about this before. And it, it's just it's just been incredible. And I love it. And I feel so good. So that's why I want to add another day. Um, and, and, and sometimes during the week, you know, it gets busy. And then you have to miss a day somewhere else. So if I can add in a fifth day, then if I have to miss a day somewhere, it's not that big a deal. Um, I am not working out uh, with my new work schedule and trying to get caught up on yard work and stuff uh, and get a schedule on the yard work uh, I haven't been able to work out I was working out right before I went to the uh, weight loss started center job. Huh? you were working out oh, yeah, before yeah. you uh, started your, he got laid off and so yeah. then when he started his new job and then when I started my new job I stopped going because uh, I was working five days a week and then I know I could find time to work out if I went early in the morning or real late at night, but by then I'm too tired to do anything. So, yeah, but 34 pounds down and most mostly it's because of my new work, uh, work job, keeping me active and uh, I'm making better food choices. So, I still don't eat as good as I should but I eat way, way less than I, than I used to. And a lot of times I just eat because uh, I know I haven't eaten in a long time of that day, or for that day, so I'll, I'll eat something. But it's not near as much as it used to be. So on average, I'm losing about uh, two pounds a week, which I guess is pretty good. But I can eat first thing in the morning at like five o'clock in the morning, and I won't eat anything else until like six o'clock that night so and I, I don't get hungry uh, and most of the time it's just eating because I feel like I should be eating something but yeah I figured with uh, more more discipline I can make better choices on my food choices but other than that I, I think I'm doing pretty good and uh as long as I can lose one or two pounds a week, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah. once once my schedule is more consistent, then I'd be able to schedule more uh, other, I guess, more activities, including working out. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Even though my wife always wants me to go do bar class with her. Well, I just want you to work out because uh -huh. it's been so great for me that I think everybody should work out. You should go work out too. It's amazing. And if you've never tried Pure Bar, I do highly encourage you to go give that a whirl. And don't think it's yoga. It's, yeah, it's not yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not eating as healthy as I should, um, but eating way better than I used to. Mostly, I'm doing portion control, just cutting my portions way down. Um, that's mostly what I'm doing. And we're still, we're only on a half a dose of phenamine, so, and we like it. We like it staying right there. Um, yeah, I tried the full dose, and I did it for like a week, but I was not not able to sleep at night. Terrible, terrible sleep. And, uh, and about four hours in after taking it, I had an awful taste in my mouth. But I love the energy that it gave me, and I felt like I would have had to take something 
like a sleep aid to go to sleep at night if I continue being on it. And uh, I enjoy my sleep. <laughs> so yeah, me too. I just went back to a half. And as far as being hungry and stuff like that, I think it works. I, I think a half a dose is, is plenty, yeah. plenty good for me. So. Yeah, I'm hungry at meal times. For me, I do eat three meals a day. Um, and I am hungry at meal times. But I, I'm not hungry for snacks. I don't crave many snacks, and um, but I still have to. I still have to make the right choices and not overeat. And I thought that would be a little easier. I thought it was going to be magic, and it's not quite magic. You, yeah. you still have to. It doesn't work on our brain. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Vanderbilt talks about it's it's everything. They want you to do self-care. They want you to have hobbies that you do that you enjoy. They want you to exercise. They want you to meditate, even if that means taking five or ten deep breaths at night before you go to bed. Eat healthy. Get enough sleep. And, and I think, this is just me, I think, um, you have a green light, that getting enough sleep, you know, because sometimes, depending on your age, you have a hard time sleeping. I do. I have a hard time sleeping sometimes. But just making sure you go to bed and you're trying. Yeah. You know, it's all we can do. Yeah, and a lot of times I'll go to bed and I'll go straight to sleep. But like three hours in, I wake up and I'm fully awake. I woke up the other day at 1 a.m. and I'm like, I'm ready to get up. And I looked at the time and I'm like, okay, I guess you're not. Yeah. I guess you're going you're gonna to try to go back to sleep now. And I did actually, so that, that was good. Yeah, and one of the bad things is also it makes you, me go to the bathroom a lot because the phenamine makes my mouth dry. So I drink a whole lot more water than I used to, <laughs> which is a good thing. But then my bladder doesn't know that it can hold till the till the end of the night because <laughs> every time I go to move, I wake up and I have to go to the bathroom. So that also contributed to the lack of sleep. <laughs> One night, I think I went to the bathroom on the hour, every hour oh. until the next morning. Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah. And then one one time I went to the bathroom and I, well, uh, I went to the bathroom and came back and like two minutes later, my alarm clock went off and I was so Oh, <laughs> oh that's the worst. Except I always know what time it is. I'm so nosy. No, I, I have to I look. I won't look at the clock. Like, what time is it? Yeah. Because if it's close enough, I'm like, oh, I'll go ahead and get up. <laughs> so anyway, that's where we are. That's our progress for now. We still love it, and we're still doing good. And yeah, and I'm, I mean, I'm looking at it like I lost 24 pounds in almost three months. So if every three months I lose 24 pounds, I mean, that would be amazing. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's pretty. The same for Ernie. If if you could lose two pounds a week for a year. That's over 100 pounds. So I mean, yeah, that would be incredible. So that's where we are. We're loving it, and together we've lost. Um, 58 pounds. Yeah, 58 pounds. That's crazy. I was thinking about that this morning in church. Uh -huh. We've lost, well, what used to be a 50-pound bag of bird seed, but now they're 40-pound bags because, you yeah. know. We've lost a three, uh, a third grader. We've lost a third grader. <laughs> We've lost a third grader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so till, till next month, we'll, we'll let you know what's happening then. And uh, thanks for watching.